difference. Um, you can see from the board, we have differentiated y equals to 8x from first principle. Now, we're going to be solving using first principle to differentiate this question. After this first principle, we can now solve with the general formula. Now, what we do, first of all, we have y equal to 8x raised to power 2 is the equation. Now, what value do we have? y plus change y equal to 8 bracket open x plus change in x raised to power 2. Now, I can just differentiate this. Now, watch. I'm going to have y plus change y equal to 8. We have to expand these brackets. Now, we have x plus change in x. Open again, x plus change in x. Now, how do we expand this value? We have x equals like x, which will give us y plus change in y equal to 8. x must like x give us x squared. x must like change in x give us plus change plus x, change in x. Now, we have to change in x. Change in x must like x round plus x changing x. Changing x multiply changing x you have plus changing x raised to the power 2. Now, I will quickly collect like that. So we have y plus changing y equal to 8 bracket open x squared plus 2. This is changing x changing x. You have plus 2 changing x plus changing x raised to the power 2. Friends, we are still going to expand. We are still having 8 outside. And we are in y plus change in y equal to 8 times xx. 8 times x squared. We have 8x squared plus 8 times 2x change in x. We have 16x change in x plus 8 times change in x squared. We have 8 changing x squared. Now you ask yourself, what do we do? You will subtract, you can call this equation 1 and this equation 2. So subtract, subtracting equation 1 from equation 2. What do we do? We have y plus change in y equal to 8 x squared plus, plus 8 change in x squared minus now this time around we are going to subtract equation 1 which is 8 raised to 8 x raised to the power 2 but if that happens watch very well 8 will cancel 8 x squared will cancel out 8 x squared now, at the end, we're having y plus changing y equal to 16x changing x plus 8 changing x squared. What do we do? We divide both sides by changing x. We're so going to have changing y all over changing x equal to 16x changing x all over changing x plus 8 changing x squared all over changing x this will cancel out this this will cancel out this the minimum one changing x so I'm going to have 8y all over changing x equal to 16x plus 8 changing x right, what we do next we limit changing x to be 0 we have mean Change in x tends to 0. If that happens, we need to have change in x, change in y over change in x equal to 16x plus 8 times 0, which will give us 16x plus 0, which is still the same as well, 16x. Now, if I find that our answer using first principle gave us 16 x. 
Now, what do you do if you are in an exam hall? If you are in an exam hall, I will tell you to use m x raised to power n minus 1. This is the general formula for solving Kaput differentiation. Now, what do you do? You have our n is being represented by 2, and our x is x. We have 8 times 2 times x raised to the power 2 minus 1. 8 times 2 give us 16x. 2 minus 1 will give us 1, which is the z as 16x raised to the power 1. And this is the same answer we have using change, using first principle. So if you want to keep an example, it is more simpler and wisdom to use this. Thank you.